I'm here at Tactical Firearms in Houston, in Texas. I'm with the owner, uh, Jeremy Alcee. Uh, Jeremy, how has business been in this gun store since the Sandy Hook massacre? We've increased our sales four to five times. We were doing about a million dollars a month, and we started doing a million dollars a week uh, until we sold out. Uh, right now, it's impossible to get guns and ammunition. This pattern has been seen all over America. Why? Why are people reacting to such an appalling massacre by racing out to buy more guns and ammunition? Well, I can't speak for any other state but Texas. Uh, I know that my customers feel that they're going to be banned, and so they feel that they need to go get it now while they still can. What are the most popular selling of the guns? Anything right now with over a 10-round capacity semi-automatic, because that's what the rumor is that they're going to try to ban. Do you think those are the kind of things you should use in self-defense? For self-defense for your home or self-defense of your property? Your home. Uh, for your home, I like shotguns just because you don't have to worry about missing and the, the pistol or rifle round going through sheetrock and killing an innocent loved one in your own house or even a neighbor outside. Uh, here in Texas, you know, sometimes you live on 10, 20 acres. Uh, you've got coyotes, pigs, um, and so a shotgun wouldn't be very effective. Do you believe any guns should be banned? I do not. Why? It's not guns that kill people. Uh, th this is the case we need to ban alcohol because alcohol kills more people than guns 20 times over, 50, I don't know the statistics. But do you believe that the more guns there are in America, the safer the country is? In the hands of right people, yes. Yes. You know, if you're going to do anything, I, I agree that, you know, people that have uh, mental retardation or violent, you know, felons, those people should not have guns. They should not have the right to vote. They shouldn't have any rights, in my opinion. But law-abiding citizens, you should be able to do whatever you want um, as far as gun purchasing. Okay, well, look, let's fire some of these weapons. Um, what are we going to start with? Start with the JP Enterprises, semi-automatic, AR-15. Um, every time you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. And this is a pure, unmodified semi-automatic? It is. So there's, no one's done anything to this. I haven't tried to flip it into an automatic. It's no. A, it's, a, it's a bog standard, if you like, AR-15. Right. Which is, to remind the viewers, this is the weapon that's been used in the last five mass shootings in America, including Aurora and Sandy Hook. Okay. What is the, the, the magazine is how big? How many books? This is a 30-round capacity. 30. It's pretty standard. And that's perfectly are. legal? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. So all this is perfectly legal to any American Correct. who's not a felon or has a history of mental illness? Correct. Okay. So... Weapon's ready to be charged. Mm -hmm. Weapon is on safe. Okay. Go ahead and shoulder the weapon. Keep your finger out of the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Finger out of the trigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you get your sights lined up, take it off of safety. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and shoot. Wow. That's the clue rate. Jerry, come in about <clears throat> so 300 rounds a minute. Once I got the hang of it and began pressing the, the trigger faster and faster, it was just firing Flowing. very, very fast. This has a muzzle brake, which stops the rise of the gun, makes it a little bit easier to shoot, makes it a lot louder. But... Somebody who knows really what they're doing, how many rounds could they fire in, say, a minute with one of these? Well, it only with reload, um, you know, maybe 60 rounds or so. 60 rounds a minute. Right. Yeah, I mean, the, the cyclical rate's 330 or so rounds a minute, 400 rounds a minute. Sorry? Uh, the, sick, the true cyclical rate, if you had unlimited magazine, then it could shoot about 400 rounds a minute. So somebody like you, if you had... Multiple magazines. Yes. How many do you In think one you minute, um, 200 or so. 200? If I had to guess. You could buy these in Walmart. I mean, do you think that's a good idea? For law-abiding citizens, I think it's an excellent idea. You know, if you live here in Texas, like I said, we shoot pigs out of helicopters. We do things that nobody else does. If you start banning one particular anything, I don't care if it's a particular type of ammunition, firearm, magazine, where is it going to stop? You give anybody an inch, they're going to take a mile. And so if you're a law-abiding citizen, there should be no more bans on anything. Now, you have a, a, a modified version of the AR-15, which I wouldn't mind uh, seeing next if I could. Okay. 
So we are actually a firearms manufacturer. <clears throat> These two weapons. I mean, they look identical to me. Right. Um, the difference is the selector switch. Instead of just going from safe to full auto or safe to semi-automatic, we have an auto sear that allows it to go full automatic. And that's the only difference? That's the only difference. How, how sophisticated is that? How, I mean, how difficult is it for somebody who knows what they're doing to take an AR-15 and make it like an automatic? Well, you have to dremel out the inside of the receiver. First, you have to have the right receiver. You gotta have a full auto bolt. So there's parts and components. You can't just go to Walmart. You can't just go in your backyard and just make it that way. You have to order parts. But the parts can be bought legally? Yes, they can. So you can buy the legal parts and you could convert it yourself? If you know what you're doing. Well, when you say legally, technically you're not supposed to have the parts and the gun together. But you can buy them separately. You can. So if you're a criminal, you know well, what you're doing. Of course, with the criminal, you could do whatever you want. Okay, let me fire this one. Okay. Let's put it onto automatic mode. Okay. The same Again, thing. a 30 bullet magazine. 30 round magazine. Mm -hmm. Safety's on. You need to flip this twice and make sure that you lean forward into it because it does rise. There you go. Just make sure you lean into it. I mean, to me, they just feel unbelievably powerful. Right. You can see that you were nowhere near as accurate. You missed the target so many times. No, but it, it was, I could feel it just rising all the time. Right. So my accuracy was far less than with the previous weapon, but it, the, the speed of the bullets, the power, all well, of it. twice as fast. And that's why they call this, when you shoot one of these, it's called spray and pray. You spray bullets everywhere and pray that it hits the target. They're not very accurate at all. But if you're in a confined area like a movie theater, you don't really care, right? Well, no, you saw the rise. I mean, yeah, you shot over everybody's head. If that room head. was just full of people, it doesn't matter if you miss a few, you're gonna hit somebody, right? I mean, the guy, the guy at Aurora used a AR-15, and I think he had what's called a slider device. Slide fire stop. What does that do to an AR-15? It allows the weapon, it's even less accurate than this, and it's really hard to actually shoot. I would love to put one in your hands and try for you to try How that. many bullets does it allow you to fire? Well, it technically shoots about 650 rounds a minute, same thing as a full auto. And, that, and you can buy the slide illegally, I mean, you sell them here. Right. Of all the arguments to have one of these, home defense is probably the least plausible from your point of view. For me, in the home, what, what people are talking about is, you know, the way that this world is going, that the military and United Nations are going to come in and try to take our guns. Do you really and, believe that? I don't know. Anything's possible. There's a lot of things in my life. Can you U.S. Marines charging onto your property and trying to steal your guns? I would hope not, but if it's I mean, an executive you, you, order... Jeremy, you're a sensible guy. I've spent some time with you. I hear this all the time in Texas. I mean, I, I gave an interview to a friend of yours earlier with 40, 50 Texans there, and that was the one thing they all seemed agreed on, that uh, tyranny was about to come their way, but well, you look I don't at all see the other how countries. that's going to happen. You look at all the other countries, and it started where we are right now, and it's ended up with no guns. But, but do you think that the American military would attack its own people? If they're forced to. I don't know. I hope not. I hope that that would not happen, but I would think at least 40 or 50 percent would. And do you think that's what many Texans feel about why they would need a weapon like this? They want it because they are law-abiding citizens, mm -hmm. and they know it's legal to purchase it now, and it won't be legal later. So they'd rather buy it now and be legal than do something illegal because th these are law-abiding citizens we're talking about. Show me quickly the kind of weapon that you think would be effective for home defense. Inside your home. This is a typical shotgun. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I like about this is because it does have a strap here. Yeah. So if someone tries to take it from you, you have two points mm -hmm. for struggle. Um, it's a pump action, so it's not gonna jam. Uh, that's a universal sound for get the heck out my house. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good, it's a 12 gauge. Uh, it's a really good weapon for home defense. It is. Um, you know, you have to hold it down at the waist when you mm -hmm. fire it because if you do this, you'll bust your teeth out. Finally, this machine down here, mm -hmm. which is, it looks to me like a kind of, you know, military machine gun that you see in all the movies. Um, mm -hmm. But that 
I understand, because it was made before 1986 and the last assault weapons ban, that is a legal, legal weapon to purchase. in this country. I could buy that. I need six months of background checks and... It's an ATF uh, paperwork that you have to fill out. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to pay $200 to the ATF to actually fire this, or to actually purchase it. Uh, to fire it costs... What it cost me? Um, these run anywhere from twenty-five to forty-five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You know, it depends on the make and model. Uh, and what is the rate of fire of one of these? Uh, it's about nine hundred rounds a minute. Chris, if I could have you over on this side, to sit on this one, and you sit on that one. Okay. Okay. I just sit Go ahead and back up just a little bit. Wrap. Put your knees over this. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay, hold on. Keep your fingers off the trigger. Okay. Go ahead and take it off a of safe. I'm going to take it off safe. Okay. And you push this down, push it down hard. Okay. Okay. Is it one bullet at fire? Or? No, nope. it's going to keep going as long okay. as you keep it down. Why would any civilian need one of these? This is an investment. Uh, I purchased one of these a while back for about twelve hundred bucks and sold it for uh, twelve thousand dollars and sold it for forty-five thousand. Incredible! Incredible! It's obviously too expensive to shoot. It's just the investment point. Amazing. There's not and many could, of them out there. I could buy that from you. You could, Jeremy. Thank you very much.